back for another season, your 11th as head coach. Just talk about the excitement, you know, heading to this preseason camp. Yeah, uh, for the first time in my career, I think we return um, our starting lineup and majority of our uh, minutes and goals. So for me personally, that's a exciting factor. And then you throw in the, the move to the new conference, Big East, and, and it's just been something we've been counting down the days since January. And you talked about a lot of the returners coming back. Just talk about briefly about I don't, what specifically or not, you've got players that go back to your 2018 team. You've got people who have experienced winning big games. What does that mean carrying it over going into the Big East? Yeah, you can't always replace experience. and, and We've had our ups and downs in, in some of the big games and won some and lost some. And, and you know, I think when you've gone through that and, and felt both sides of it and, and still left out a big goal that you haven't achieved, I think that creates the hunger. And, and you know, what our captains mentioned, everybody's here and everybody's ready and, and excited for it. So, um, you know, I think we just want to get going and, and get working towards our goals. A year ago, we were talking about going to the Big East but now you're here. Talk about the excitement of going into the new conference and playing a lot of these teams you played before, but playing in meaningful conference games. Yeah, I mean, we, we've been a part of the MAC conference for, for a long time. And, and, you know, I think the move to the Big East, you, you know, the excitement around it's also, you know, a thanks and a recognition to the, the alums and the, the history and tradition here that allowed us to get into this situation. Um, you know, we can only make that move over the consistency of the program that it's been for for so long. And, um, you know, it, it just, it's exciting. You know, new new teams, new places to go, some uncertainty with travel and, and what teams may do. And, um, you know, and you're also looking at that teams historically that have been very good and won national championships. So it's a, it's a great challenge, but we're ready for it. Coming into the season, what are, I guess, some of the strengths of your team as you see them right now? Yeah, I think I think obviously the, the experience of, of bringing guys back. Um, our attack has obviously always been a strength here, and, and I know we were top 10 team in goals, and, and you know I think we've got a lot of players that can score and contribute on the attacking side. And, and you know defensively, I feel like uh, you know we, we've learned from previous years, and we're going to be much better. And, a little more consistent on that side of the ball, and, and we're going to put it together. You bring in a top 10 national recruiting class. Just talk about the strengths that some of these guys will bring to the team. Yeah, it's, I think we just wanted to go back and just get guys that we, we feel can can play, skillful guys. Uh, where, where they may go on the field, sometimes the positions of needs, other times they're just you know, we just want guys that can play. You know, you get out there and, and as a teammate, you appreciate what they bring to the table and, and smart players and competitive players. And, you know, I felt like we were able to do that. Give us kind of like a uh, the positional breakdown from defensive midfield and strikers. Like, you don't have to name names or anything, but just where you see them, what they did in the spring and kind of expectations, I guess. Like the, the new guys coming in? Or new the, guys or just general positional groups? Yeah, I mean, I, I think our goal was always to be have enough depth, you know, uh, too deep in each position trying to challenge. And, and in a place like center back, maybe maybe you have a third center back that provides cover for both. But I felt like we did a really good job this year bringing in competition all over the place. Um, you know, we always have more numbers in the front half just because, you know, our style of play. Uh, Gives us more attraction to your your midfielders, your wingers, your your you know your attacking players, and you know our defenders are mostly converted attackers at some point in their career. I feel as well. So I think we have a roster that that leans more towards creativity and, and technical ability and, and intelligence than always. Hey, we're we're got just a four center backs, you know, four outside backs. I think I think we have plenty of guys that can move around, but, um, you know, I think it's the competition part we were looking for, and I feel like we're, we're pretty deep, especially in the attacking areas. The, the, the new class is strong in the attacking areas, and then felt like we brought some depth in the back that, that could contribute right away as well. The coaching circle across the country is rather small in men's soccer, so What's kind of being said 
uh, Akron joining the Big East from maybe some other coaches around the country? Yeah. Uh, it's been really positive from standpoint of a lot of people felt like, uh, you know, we've earned this opportunity to move into to a bigger conference and, and be showcased on teams that are, are thought to be, uh, you know, powerful teams, high major teams. Um, so a lot of feedback, a lot of congratulations. And, and you know, for me, the MAC has uh, been a really good conference. We've had a lot of success. So, uh, you know, I don't think, um, you know, from that standpoint, I don't I think it was a little underrated for a lot of t a lot of years. But I think moving to to the Big East just for the program's sake was was the right thing to do, and it's the right time. And now that you're in the Big East, talked a little bit about the non-conference schedule in scheduling, how maybe it differs from the time that we had in the conf uh, in American yeah. conference. You know, this is this is a question I'll probably. Changed my answer over time. We're, we're, we're trying to figure it out. I, th I think what we really think now is um, we can get a lot of RPI points. Historically, the teams have been a lot more consistent and uh, higher ranked than, than maybe in the MAC. And I feel like we can get a lot of RPI points in, in October when we need to. In the past, we've had to play a lot of games off off the bat to you know not only challenge ourselves but but to try and earn an at large berth. Try to play put ourselves in good position for seeding heading into conference. Now, now I think we can maybe talk about how we want to build our team a little bit slower towards the postseason and, and you know, create some depth going into October and November. And, and so I think, think we looked at it to, to play a few more games at home this year than, than maybe normal. But you still got to have a couple tough non-conference games to, to put on your resume. So. What is the right balance of tough non-conference games now that we're in the Big East? Um, I, I don't know that answer yet until we go through it a couple years. But we, we definitely took it a little, you know, lighter on the non-conference schedules in terms of traditional Big Ten teams that we've been playing. So we'll we'll have to see how it goes moving forward. Good coach. Thanks. Good luck this season. All right. Thanks. Oh yeah. Sorry. One more question. Sorry, coach. I'll have that. Uh, this is your opportunity, Coach, to kind of give your best sales pitch now that we're in a new conference and to the, the, the fans that have followed Akron soccer for years. What's uh, the selling point now to get them out to fill, fill the place? Uh, yeah. Well, you know, we've been uh, one of the best teams in, in college soccer for years, and, and our fans are a big reason for that. And, and a big reason for the move is, is – just the atmosphere at our games was very attractive to the Big East. So, you know, I think a lot of eyes are going to be on us, and, and can we sustain that in the Big East? Can that excitement carry over? And that, that's on uh, our fans that continue to show up like they have the, the previous years. Uh, we may feel like we're a big fish and in, in the right conference now, but I think across the country, they're seeing if we're still a small fish in a big pond. I think we need to come out, uh, get behind us. Let's let's show everybody in, in the Big East that they made the right move, and, and obviously we can win the national championship as well if you're behind us all the way.